Hey guys, this is Robert again. I want to say thanks for coming to this channel. If you're new here, please check out my videos. And if you do like it, please subscribe. The content of my channel is DIYs, reviews, family vlogs, and about cars and trucks, including what I call hard shell taco that's behind me, which is my 2017 Toyota Tacoma. So what do we got here, dude? This is the Audio Jump Starter, a new one. And it comes with this jump starter. And how does it charge, Jesse? Charges right here. And it uses what's that? USB C. USB C. Uh, it's not only a jump starter; it is also a power bank with a little flashlight. So there's an adapter you can use and have yeah. a cigarette lighter adapter, which is yeah. cool. And it also charges in and out with that power connector. You can charge it with the Type C device. And then it says right here, it's got USB two amps out, two USB outs. The one thing I noticed, um, I like the way the design is. Um, I, I picked this one because not only it can start four and six cylinder cars, it actually says it can start V8s and uh, diesel engines. But one little fallacy that I see right here, it's daytime. It's hard to see the little um, charge light, right, Jesse, or charge what's level. You, what's nighttime, you can see it better. Right, and day and nighttime is better, but in the daytime, it's really hard to see. Yeah, but, but there's some sun reflecting. It's, it, right, but it's actually 100%, just to let you know. So what else do we have in it? Two Type C cables. Carry. You don't need to have a USB cable. Let me get the phone. It's oh. a USB C. The USB C, right? Plug it in here, and right here. Let me see if that dings. There it goes, working. So it does charge, which is good. As a jump starter, how does this get used? You have to plug it into here. I'm just demonstrating it. I don't have anything to jump. Um, I've used this before and a smaller one and it worked great. So you can see here, it starts to light up here, showing it's ready. So you would push that little boost button. Can you point the boost button for me with your finger, Jesse? You'd push that, that boost button after, of course, this is already on your battery, positive and negative. And then you just start the other vehicle. So what I like about using a jump starter versus your vehicle is that you might not have a spot that you can bring your other vehicle next to the one that needs to jump, um, such as off-roading. There might be a, a spot that's way too tight that's nearly impossible to get a, another vehicle around. So now you have this. Another thing is concerns of jump starting incorrectly. So with this thing, it's very intelligent, so it knows when it's backwards. If you happen to just make a simple mistake because you're in a rush or whatever, uh, you're not gonna short circuit any computers on your cars and that's another benefit of it. And uh, the third thing is that it doesn't cause any sparks. Um, I've seen people connect things and jumper cables do spark up sometimes and that could be a hazard. So I think this is a great product. I'll put the link below of this product in my description and you guys can check it out too. So I wanna say thanks for watching this short video. Peace out guys.